Hello from Seoul. You may not like chicken and rice mud prep because it's too simple and boring. And you already know you can't have the same chicken and rice every single day. Yeah, that was my story. But don't worry about it. With this recipe, you will have the best chicken and rice meal prep with the maximum flavor. If you're trying to lose weight, just plain chicken and rice would be the best option, I can't deny. But are you preparing for the competition or you want to win Mr. Olympia? If not, you need more sustainable diets. That's why I brought this chicken and broccoli meal prep. Trust me, it's not only going to be super tasty, but it's also going to help you keep in shape. For this, you will need some rice, chicken, broccoli, garlic, ginger, and green onions. That's it. So simple, right? But if you want to make it more fancy, bring your leftover carrot or some red chili. These will add a nice pop of color and stimulate your appetite. Alright, let's cook our rice first. Add two and a half cups of rice into a bowl and wash it two or three times to remove any dust or debris. Once you drain off the water, add two and a half cups of water and pop it straight into the rice cooker. Today, I'm using short grain rice, but if you don't have this, you can use other types of rice you have. Don't worry about it. Everything will be fantastic. While the rice is cooking, let's make the sauce. In a small container, add 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 4 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of dark soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder, and 2 tablespoons of shaoxing wine. What? You can't find shaoxing wine? That's okay. Then you can use mirin or other cooking wines. What? You're not so sure if this gives you a good result? Then let me prove it to you with this bad boy. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be fantastic. Keep adding 10 tablespoons of water, 1.5 tablespoons of cornstarch, and give it a good mix. Alright, the sauce is done. Let's put it aside and prep our chicken. Today, I'm gonna be using chicken breast, but if you prefer chicken thigh, go ahead and use that. No problem at all. But if you're on a diet or you're looking for a high protein diet, I highly recommend going with chicken breast. Alright, cut 1 kilogram of chicken breast and cut them into bite-sized pieces. Of course, you could just cook it whole, but to reduce the cooking time, let's just chop them up. Don't worry about it. Our fantastic marinade will keep them juicy and moist. Now to marinate our chicken, let's add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of shaoxing wine or mirin, half a teaspoon of white pepper, 1 teaspoon of baking soda, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, 1 tablespoon of neutral oil and give it a good massage. Once that's done, give them some privacy in the fridge while prepping our vegetables. First, smash 8 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. What? It looks like too much garlic? Don't worry about it. It's just gonna blend in with the flavors and make it more fragrant. Next, grate a small nub of ginger, about 1 tablespoon would be enough. And then take 4 green onions and thinly slice them, and make sure you save some for garnish. Now for a bit of color, let's slice half a carrot. I almost decided to use chili pepper because I wanna add some spicy kick to it, but let's go with this bad boy so that everybody can enjoy. This time, get yourself some broccoli and cut them into nice bite-sized pieces. Today, I'm gonna be using only florets, but if you also wanna use the stems, you could totally do that too. But whether you use the stems or not, please make sure to use about 400 grams in total. For information, besides this broccoli, you could also use other green vegetables. Asparagus, Brussels sprouts, green beans, everything will be fantastic. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. Boil a pot of water with a pinch of salt and blanch your broccoli for about 1 minute. Since it's gonna be stir-fried, you don't have to cook it too long. What? You don't wanna make more dishes to wash? Then you can just cook it in a pan. That's totally fine. I'm just doing this to keep its beautiful color and reduce the cooking time. But if you wanna get that smoky charred flavor from the broccoli, you can totally do that too. After 1 minute, shock them in some ice water. This is gonna help to set the vibrant green color. Remember, green always makes your dish look fancy. Now, in a wok or pan, add 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it's heated, add the marinated chicken, spread it out, and sear for 2-3 minutes. What? Your wok is too small for doing this? 
Don't worry about it. You can totally do this in batches. Once you get some nice browning on the bottom, give it a few stirs and cook for about 3 to 4 minutes or until it cooks through. Since the chicken is already coated with some cornstarch and oil, the juice is trapped inside. But if there is too much liquid from the chicken, stir it more frequently so that most of the liquid can be evaporated. Alright, looks like our chicken is done. Let's remove it from the pan and set it aside. Now to the same wok, add 2 tablespoons of oil and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the garlic, ginger, green onions and infuse our oil with those flavors. Trust me, this beautiful aromatic oil will make your chicken and broccoli 10 times better. After 1 minute, increase the heat too high. And then add in your broccoli, carrot and give it a few stirs for about 1 minute. Once that's done, add the chicken back into the wok and stir them around for about 1 minute. Once your chicken and broccoli are nice and coated and glossy, add in your sauce. But make sure you give it a good stir before you put it in. From now, we're just gonna stir everything together until the sauce gets nice and thickened. It's gonna take about 2-3 minutes. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's turn the heat off and add 2 teaspoons of toasted sesame oil and a generous pinch of toasted sesame seeds. That's it! Couldn't be any easier, right? Alright, it's time to assemble. Divide the rice into 5 containers and fill that empty spot with our beautifully cooked chicken and broccoli. Here, try and do your best to evenly distribute the chicken. Otherwise, you're gonna get the last container that's filled with only broccoli. Last but not least, let's finish it off with our love, green onions. Because I'm more into muscle gain, I divide it into 5 servings, but if you think this is too many calories or too much protein for you, you can divide it into more servings, like 6 or 7. These will last up to 3 days in the fridge or in the freezer for a few months, but please be sure to let them cool completely before you store them. You wanna know how it tastes? Alright, let's go to our taste tester. Claire! Ooh, I'm super excited! Let's give it a try! Wow! It is so saucy! It looks super delicious! Thank you! 먹어보겠습니다! Cheers! Mm. Wow! 짱 부드럽다! 짱 촉촉하네! 닭가슴살로 했는데 전혀 퍽퍽하지가 않아! 거기다가 겉에는 그 맛있는 아주 감칠맛 가득한 소스가 샥 코팅을 해줘가지고 너무 부드럽고 너무 촉촉하고 맛있는데? 음! 와! 맛있다! <웃음> 내가 좋아하는 이 소스야. 이거 마법의 소스. 너무 맛있어. 겉에 차가 정말 잘 되어 있어서 먹음직스러운 비주얼이다. One more. 음. 이거 너무 귀엽다. 안 먹어볼래? 안 먹어볼 수가 없네. 귀여워서. 음, 네이클로버 같아. 먹으면 행운이오나. <웃음> Honestly, I'm not a big fan of carrot, but whenever Aaron cuts carrot this way, I can't resist trying it. Cheers! <웃음> 바로 브로콜리까지! Love this little tree! So cute! <웃음> 음... 찰떡이네. <웃음> 소스가 그냥 기본적으로 너무 맛있으니까 뭐 닭가슴살은 그냥 말할 것도 없고 안 좋아하는 야채들마저도 정말 맛있게 싹 만들어주는 것 같아. 거기다 이렇게 예쁘게 썰면 진짜 야채 안 좋아하는 어린이들도 먹을 수밖에 없는 매직이 일어나지. <웃음> 음, 이건 꼭 해주는 게 좋을 것 같아. 귀찮아도. I love it. <웃음> 음, 맛있다. 오, 큰일 났다. 소중한 내 닭가슴살. <웃음> 음, 혼자밖에 없네. 먹은 닭가슴살이 아까워서라도 이번 주는 하트를 한 <laughs> Wish me luck! Enjoy! Today, I showed you how to do a meal prep with chicken and broccoli. How was it? It's unbelievably simple, right? Like I said earlier, it's not only gonna be tasty, but it's also gonna be well balanced, which means you can kill two birds with one stone. And the best part of this is that it will save you lots of time in the kitchen. So please give it a shot. If you do, I'm pretty sure you'll be so satisfied. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.